talk about Victorian homes and how they turned absolutely creepy. common mental image of a Victorian home looks much like a dollhouse with elaborate trim and bright colors. The term Victorian architecture actually refers to the styles that emerged in the period between 1830 and 1910, during the reign of Queen Victoria. The Victorian era spawned several well-known styles, including Gothic Revival and Romanesque style and Shingle style. Victorian styles involved largely from imposing an elaborate Gothic style which appealed to the Romantic Victorian idea that fashion, architecture, and furnishings could be beautiful rather than practical. Architects took the ideas of Gothic architecture and added French, Italian, Tudor, and even Egyptian details. Designers were free to combine the styles to create several different well-known styles and combine the styles as they saw fit. A result there are few Victorian homes that look the same. Architects are artists who have jobs to create and design houses. I am going to show you the details of a Victorian house. Two to three story homes with decorative trim that looks like a gingerbread house, textured walls, scallop shingles, steep roof lines, large wraparound porches, and octagonal towers with steep pointed roofs are all details of a Victorian home. But how did these beautiful styled homes go from celebrated beauty to just downright creepy? As America entered the 20th century and the aftermath of World War I made families see things in a new light, the world had become corrupt and the Victorian style houses were a physical manifestation of this stain they represented, the persistence of corruption and thoughtlessness that was thought to have originated in the Gilded Age. What was once a symbol of wealth not weighed on the progression of the American soul. Artists depicted these Victorian houses as dark and unsettling, looking ghostly and murderous. In Edward Hopper's House by the Railroad, he depicts the elaborateness and architectural style, but critics found it desolate, inhumane, and haunted. Now, my artists, beware, because I'm going to show you an artist who creates creepy, scary dollhouses. Richard Hawkins, an artist who works in a variety of media, including sculpture, painting, and collage, has been making melancholy haunted house sculptures out of doll houses since 2007. Like the hobbyist who attends every detail of the interior and exterior, Hawkins works obsessively on the exterior finishes and interior decorating, placing miniature porcelain vases here and there, little Chinese silk lanterns hanging tiny pieces of laundry to dry from tiny balconies. But rather than creating pristine replicas of period architecture, the artist makes his houses look decrepit and abandoned. We will be creating our own Victorian styled houses using cardboard, glue, popsicle sticks, tape, and whatever else we can find. We are going to be painting them to your liking if you want them spooky or Victorian styled. All right, let's start sketching, if you dare. <laughs> okay, architects, it's time to get to drawing. You're going to draw what you would like your Victorian home to look like. Also, I want to ask a few people in the crowd if they know details of the Victorian home. <laughs> I will give out points for answers.